What's up YouTube? Today we're reviewing the 2021 GMC Sierra 1500 AT4. Huge thank you to Jesus Yepes over at Coons Tyson Chevy Buick GMC. If you're interested in any GM product with the exception of Cadillac, I'll have his information on screen as well as in the description box down below. But with that said, let's get into the video. First, let's talk about the exterior on the AT4. So from factory with the AT4 package, you do get a two inch lift. You also do get this AT4 specific grill with this black chrome as well as this black trim around the grill right here. Paint matched bumpers. And you get these red recovery hooks down here on the bottom as well, as well as skid plates down there, as you can see right there. Uh, obviously, 2021, you have LED headlamps, uh, LED daytime running light, as well as an LED fog light on both sides. You also do have your forward facing camera right here and your forward facing sensors right here on the bumper as well. So with the AT4 package, you can get an 18 inch wheel. However, these are the upgraded 20 inch wheel wrapped in a 26560 Goodyear Wrangler tire. And these are actually decently beefy tires for off-roading as you can see right there. Take a little look. You also do get uh, an off-road suspension that comes with Rancho shocks, which this truck actually does ride very well, but we'll talk about that in the driving portion of the review. This particular truck does have the three liter diesel, which makes 277 horsepower and 460 pound feet of torque. And uh, I'll pop the hood right here and I'll show you guys that motor. And uh, it's actually decently quiet. So uh, I'll pop the hood and then we'll start her up. A little one hand action right there. And there's the motor. You can see it's a decently big size motor. But uh, like I said, 277 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque, which is able to push this truck from zero to 60 in six and a half seconds. Uh, you're also able to get 22 miles per gallon city and 26 miles per gallon highway. So if you want the look of this truck, but you don't want to uh, pay the gas prices of the 6.2, then I would say this is a good alternative to the 6.2, and it's also cheaper than the 6.2 as well. And like I said, uh, we'll talk about some stuff later in the driving portion of the review, but this thing's actually pretty peppy. Uh, but like I said, we'll talk about that here in a minute. Close that hood. This particular truck is Onyx black and it looks very, very good. I really like the Onyx black with this little like black chrome type trim material uh, on the grill right there. I think that both colors together just look very good and just match the overall ruggedness look of this truck. More of that little black chrome around the LED fog lamp down in there. These are your 20 inch machined aluminum wheels with a little bit of black in there as well. Six lug, decent sized uh, brake as well. Like I said, it's the Duramax right there. You can see more of that black chrome trim around here. It says GMC right in there. These are like your work lights. So at night, if you want to see what's going on right in front of here while the car is stopped, uh, there's a little button in there that you can push. I'll show you that button here real quick. Push this button right here. And you can see that the light comes on right here and it also comes on on that side as well. But let me turn that off real quick and we'll uh, talk about that in a minute. You got your AT4 badging right there. These little uh, fender flares right here are not paint match, but you can paint match them as an option. I believe it's like five or 600 bucks. I'll put the exact price of that right here. Uh, but moving down here, you can see you got a camera as well as a puddle light. This, is, this camera does help with the 360 degree view camera, which like I said, we'll talk about in a minute. Keyless access, all you gotta do uh, to unlock the vehicle is just have your key in the pocket and push that button. You can also lock the vehicle with your key in your pocket by pushing that button as well. You got the black trim around the windows as well as this black painted trim right here. I think that looks very good compared to like that plasticky type material that you see on uh, lower end trucks. Opening this up. It's where you put your diesel right there and obviously that's what you put your def in as well one thing i did want to do before we moved on is uh look at these stickers right down here real quick because i saw that you guys asked to see these stickers um in the video with the f-350 so you can see uh all the all those little numbers right down here There's right there 
as well as down here. So you guys can look at that. Also, you can look at right there as well. Close that and keep moving on. Like I said, Rancho shocks, you can see them right there. Really nice uh, wheel design in my opinion. I think these uh, tires are actually, like I said, up front, very beefy compared to like the 2500 AT4. I think they just look a lot more beefy on this truck in my opinion. LED tail lamps, these look very good as well. Uh, when they're on, I can turn them on here in a sec. So you can see the little surround when it comes on. That's like your uh, little running light at night right there. Looks very good, like I said, LED. You do have this nice little step to get into your bed right here, so just step in. A lot easier bed access right there. This does have the multi-function tailgate, so if you want to open it in the multi-function way, you got this little button right here. This piece comes down like that. If your bed is too short, you can fit plywood out here. Obviously, this truck does have the tonneau cover, but uh, the tonneau cover is an option to get. Uh, so obviously from factory, it does not come with that. But like I said, uh, you can fit longer pieces of wood out the bed like that without having the whole tailgate down. But let me uh, close that and we'll open up the tailgate. You can actually open up the tailgate from the key as well as a button inside of the interior. And obviously you have the button on the tailgate as well. Uh, but look at the bed in here. You do have a 400 watt plug-in outlet right here that you can turn on from the interior. You also do have these LED lights for uh, nighttime as well and it does utilize those LED lights to light up the bed as well. And I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro right here, but there's a camera right there that also is a bed camera so you can see what's in your bed while you're driving, see if it's anything's flying out or anything like that. But that camera is also used for your camera rear view mirror, which I'll show you when we get into the interior. But uh, with this multi-function tailgate, it actually makes it easier to step in the truck. So just do that pop this down like that and it makes it easier a nice little step to get in because like I said this does have a factory two inch lift so it's a little harder for like the older folks to get in so this just makes it that much easier you also do have this little grab bar right here to also uh, assist you when getting into your truck but we'll close this right here just like that GMC badging Sierra and like I said AT4 you do have your dual exhaust as well as your trailer hitch right here and to light your trailer hitch you do have um, your prongs right in here um, just like that and this is for access into your spare tire so if you want to open up your spare tire um, that's how you unlock it right there again more backup sensors right here and uh, another step on the passenger side as well. Moving on down, take a look at the truck. Just a really nice looking truck. Uh, this is the crew cab short bed and it is my favorite configuration because I think it does look the best. Uh, one thing, if I had to give this car a little nag, I would have to say that it's this antenna right here. Can we not do away with antennas? I think we need to do away with antennas in the next year or two. Uh, just my personal opinion. Not a fan of the way antennas look on trucks nowadays. But you do have this really aggressive looking front end. Uh, you got those body lines on the side as well as the body lines that go down the hood just to make the truck look that much more aggressive, more off-roady, more masculine. And I don't know, I just think the uh, overall look of this truck looks very, very good. Very aggressive and uh you can definitely tell that it's a little bit higher than like some other sierras or silverados and stuff like that but let's step into the interior here and uh look at the door panel right here you can see you got that really nice kalari uh, accent stitching that goes down you also do have a really nice leather feel right here with a uh, comfortable little armrest right there sorry there's a bug in my eye moving over to the door handle it's aluminum door handle you got your unlock lock and two presets for memory adjustment seats um, you can see right there you got your mirror controls right here by pushing this button the mirrors will fold in you can see me push the button again mirrors fold out on both sides you can see it over there as well 
uh, for the front, both automatic up and down in the front seats, but not automatic up in the rear, but you do have automatic down in the rear. Um, like I said, more of that Kalari contrast stitching. Nice little faux carbon type material right here with a little accent trim uh, of aluminum right there. This does have the seven speaker Bose sound system with the rich bass subwoofer. And I'll talk about that when we get into the driving portion of the review. But the sound system in this car is very, very good in my opinion. Uh, good amount of storage space down here, enough room for water bottles, umbrellas, stuff like that. Moving in, got your AT4 nameplate right there with the little brushed aluminum with the uh, just regular aluminum trim around. I think that looks very, very good. Again, Kalari accent leather right here, just like the 2500 AT4 I did a video with. Uh, but you see the AT4 embossed in the both headrests right there. And uh, you do have perforated leather because this does have ventilated front seats. Uh, and you also do have a power adjustable front driver and passenger seats. Stepping in, you do see that you have this little grab handle right here, which does come in handy because, like I mentioned for the third time, this does have the factory two inch lift. And you can definitely tell that it's a little bit higher than... Uh, say just like a regular Sierra 1500 but let's fire up that Duramax and I'll show you guys the noise from the outside here uh, when I walk around of the just the motor running just because you guys might be curious very very quiet you can barely hear it but you can see those beautiful LED daytime running lights just look so menacing looks so good uh, I really really like the way that this truck looks but like I said, you can barely hear that motor. Very quiet. So if you're worried about getting the diesel because it's too noisy or anything like that, I don't think you gotta worry. It's a very, very quiet motor. And like I mentioned, it's a very, very peppy motor as well. Right over here, you do have your tow haul mode when you twist to the left. But if you twist it to the right, you do see you have normal sport and off-road mode right there. So just twist it to the right. And uh, you have your three different drive modes. I like just like to keep it in normal. Um, it's still plenty peppy, uh, but if you want a little bit more peppiness uh, and throttle response, put it in sport mode. To go into four wheel drive, this particular truck right now is in four wheel drive auto right there, as you can see, but you can put it in four high, four low, two high. These are for this button right here is for your LED fog lamps right there so push it the led fog lamps come on this is for your cargo lights in the bed so you can see that little light is lit up it means your cargo lights are on and this is to adjust the brightness of your gauges in here and right here headlight adjustment and like i said this button is to turn on the mirror light that uh gives you just a little bit of light in front of the mirror by the front tires so we'll turn that right back off uh, moving into the center screen, this is a eight inch diagonal screen right here. And I really like the look of this screen as opposed to like the analog gauges that you can see in some lower trim uh, Sierras and Silverados. I just think that this looks just that a lot more premium. Uh, and I just really like how much you can configure the screen through this scroll knob right here and this button right here. So you can see you got all your different uh, phone settings and stuff like that. You can go through your settings right here, blah, blah, blah. Uh, navigation, music, information about the car, scroll through all that kind of stuff. Um, but I just like to keep it on this. You can see your fuel range down here. Odometer, this particular truck has 4,715 miles. It's in great shape, basically brand new. Um, you can see this does have lane keep assist. And this particular truck, I'm gonna read off my notes here real quick. This does have the AT4 value package, the tech package, the AT4 preferred package, and the driver alert pack one and two. And I'll uh, put all those different packages and what they include right here on screen. So you'll see the different uh, packages and what they include right here on screen, like I said. Uh, this particular truck does have the heads up display. I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick it up, but it's a big 15 inch heads up display and you can really configure it uh, with these buttons right here. This little info button, like you can see, uh, this a little off-road type uh, screen right there. This is for like when you're on the highway, you can see uh, other cars around you. You got your compass with your uh, speedometer as well as the speed limit sign and your lane keep assist. Uh, and like I said, off-road stuff. It's really, really cool. 
Uh, but if you just want to drive on the uh, on the streets and see your speed limit as well as your speedometer, you can leave it on this screen. Uh, but I think that the different options that you can do with the heads up display on this vehicle are really, really cool. Like I mentioned while we were out back, this does have the camera mirror right here. But if you don't want the camera mirror on, you just flick this forward and then it's just like a regular camera. Uh, but I personally like the camera mirror. I think it gets rid of blind spots and stuff like that. And I think uh, you'll really, if you're not used to it already, you'll get used to it really, really quickly. Universal garage door opener right up here. Very easy to use. Uh, you can see that you've got your little LED lights uh, on the interior for the front passengers right there. If you want to slide your sunroof back, you just click that and it slides back. If you want to just tilt the sunroof, just sit that right side right there and uh, the sunroof will tilt. You want to close it close it like that this particular truck does have an electric back window so you just control that right here you can see that it's opening right there i think it's really cool it's kind of just like a little cockpit type thing uh like you're in a plane you just hit these buttons i think it's, i don't know i just think it's pretty cool uh to turn on all your lights in the interior you've got that on off button right there and this is to control your lights if you want them to turn on when the door is open and obviously you see your on star passenger airbag information right up here uh, we're moving down here, you got a little bit of storage space in here for your phone. If you want to put a small little level, tape measure, pencil, stuff like that, you can do that right in there. More of that Kalari brown accent stitching on the dash. Um, this screen is an 8 inch screen, and I know uh, GM gets a lot of flack for just having this little 8 inch screen, but you know, it gets the job done and uh, it's actually very responsive, so I have no complaints about this screen. Obviously, you got Apple CarPlay. If you want to exit Apple CarPlay, you got this little home button right here, and uh, you can go to all these different things. My GMC, you can schedule um, maintenance appointments, stuff like that. Sirius XM, this camera button right here. You can see you got a 360 degree view camera. That's your forward facing camera. Throw it into reverse, and you got your rear facing camera right there. But you also have this little button right here for when you're backing up to a trailer. I'll show you that. Um, so when you're backing up to a trailer, you can see it just makes it that much easier to back up. And uh, this is like your front forward facing camera, like from the top, kind of like a 360 degree uh, view right there. This is to see your tires. This is the driver tire. That is your passenger tire. Uh, and that's the whole vehicle right there. Uh, so just tons of different things that you can do in here. That's a uh, uh, trailer, trailer camera right here. Uh, this is your bed camera and your hitch camera right here. Uh, but let's go back to my favorite one, which is this one right here. I like that little configuration in the screen right there. Uh, this is your volume knob right here, your tuning knob right here to switch between songs. Obviously right there, your back button. Uh, climate control settings right here with a little screen on uh, to give you what temperature you're on, which is really, really cool. Uh, and obviously you've got your fan knob right there. Heated seats, it's, like I mentioned, this uh, particular truck does have perforated leather, so you do have your front ventilated seats right there for both driver and your front passenger. And all these buttons right down here, your lane keep assist system, your parking sensors right here, uh, auto stop start. Um, this is to open up your tailgate right here, obviously your hazard button, traction control, and this is to turn on your outlets in the truck right there. And this is hill descent control right here. So uh, that's really cool for when you're off-road or crawl, rock crawling, stuff like that. Trailer brake control right here, push button start, USB, USB-C, 12 volt outlet. Like I said, you get your home outlet right there. Uh, this particular truck does have a wireless charging pad and I will put my 11 Pro Max on here just to show you uh, that if you have a big phone, uh, you don't really have to worry about it not being able to fit. It fits perfectly with a little bit of room in there and mine does have a fairly big case on it. Uh, a little bit of storage space in here for if you want to set your phone in there instead, you can do that. Uh, two cup holders right here good size cup holders uh, this is a big water bottle and you do got a little bit of storage space in here if you want to put uh, your sunglasses in there just like that you can do that uh, but also if you want to set your phone right up here you can do that as well same amount of space fits a big phone right in there no problem uh, we'll set that down uh, right there but if you've got like hand sanitizer or something like that some small little items you can fit small little items right in here as well uh, and opening this up 
another USB and USB-C port right there as well as an auxiliary jack right there. And you got a little light to be able to see at night. Uh, basically, you can fit my whole forearm in there. So it's definitely a good amount of storage space down in there. And you got a little rubber uh, mat in there on the bottom. So if it gets dirty, you can just pull that out and clean it up. No problem. Closing that. More of that little perforated leather right here. More leather, very, very comfortable, nice and padded. Uh, just a very, very comfortable interior. Leather wrapped steering wheel, you got your GMC right there. Nice sounding horn. Um, you got your phone controls right here. Like I said, this controls that screen down there. Your cruise control settings, adaptive cruise control settings right here and your heated steering wheel right there. Over here, you do have two glove boxes. So you got one on top for a good amount of storage space and one on bottom, which I'm assuming you're just gonna have your owner's manual and uh, some napkins, some straws, whatever you usually put um, in your glove box you'll have there. Uh, but same thing on the passenger side, basically the same exact door panel, uh, good amount of storage space on there. And if I didn't mention it already, enough storage space for two, three water bottles in the door card uh, right there as well. Just very, very nice looking seats. Let's step out and uh, take a look at these seats real quick. Just like I said, beautiful AT4 embossed. You got that Kalari brown accent stitching um, pretty much all throughout the entire seat. I really like how they have just like this regular leather right here and the perforated leather and the Kalari accent leather uh, on the seat back right there and on the seat bottom. Just looks very, very premium. Uh, and that is what you get with the AT4 pack is these accent colors right here. But let's move into the rear and talk about rear comfort right back here. I got my stuff back here. So I'll slide that over uh, my camera bag. And one thing that's really cool is that you can uh, fold up these seats and you got a little divided area for stuff that you don't want sliding throughout the uh, rear space. And you do have that seat also comes up as well. Putting this seat back down, you do have a storage area in here as well as a storage space in there as well. Same exact size, so uh, definitely can fit some uh, tape measures, little levels, stuff like that. Uh, nothing too big, but you can definitely fit uh, a couple water bottles or stuff like that uh, in there. You get the gist of how big that is. Uh, but over here, like I said, you have automatic down windows, but you do not have automatic up windows. You got that aluminum door handle right there. Again, just like the front, nice padded surface right here for your elbow and more of that Kalari stitching uh, with the leather right here. Looks very, very good. And a good amount of storage space down here with room for uh, a little umbrella, water bottles, you guys know. Uh, you got your speaker right here. It does not say Bose. However, it is a Bose sound system like you saw in the front. Stepping in, I like using this grab handle right here. Makes it just a little bit easier to get into the truck. Closing that door right there. Two cup holders right here, enough space to set a phone across there right there. This truck does have heated rear seats. So you can see right here, only the outer passengers though. The inner passenger does not have a heated seat. USB-C, USB-A right there, and a 12 volt outlet right there. And you got your HVAC vents right in there. Um, you got your seat back pockets on both sides right here. And you also do have this uh, fold down armrest right here in the back. And it's just very, very comfortable. Uh, my back feels very, very comfortable. The seat bottom is very comfortable. And uh, the places where I set my arms down are also very, very comfortable as well. And uh, like I said, cup holders right here and uh, a little space to maybe put your sunglasses or whatever you wanna put uh, right in here. Plenty of storage space and you got uh, those cup holders go all the way across. They're not divided. So if you want to set your phone down in there, uh, you can do that as well. Let's close that. So we've talked about the exterior. We've talked about the interior. We've talked about the performance. Now let's see what this thing's like to drive. So I will see you guys in the driver's seat. And now onto the driving portion of the review. And uh, first couple things that I wanted to mention is that this thing is a very, very smooth ride. You can definitely tell that you sit up two inches higher. Uh, I mean, you can't tell exactly that it's two inches, but you can definitely tell that you sit up a little bit higher as opposed to like just a regular uh, Sierra 1500, like a Denali or something like that. You can definitely uh, feel the uh, little bit uh, added height in the ride. And comparing it to like the ride of a Denali, it rides just a little bit more firm. Uh, definitely like going over bumps and stuff, it takes them a little firmer, but it's still a very, very comfortable ride. 
Uh, nothing really to complain about ride-wise. Very, very comfortable. Um, a few things that I did want to mention that I don't think I mentioned when we were talking about the performance. And uh, I know I've mentioned this like a couple times before, but like I said, 277 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque. Uh, and that goes through a 10-speed automatic transmission, the one that Ford and GM both co-developed together. And uh, it's a great transmission. I think it's matched perfectly to this Duramax. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is like, um, if you're like stuck between, okay, do I want to get the 6.2, the 5.3, or the 3-liter Duramax, and you just basically write off the 5.3 right off the bat just for no reason anyway. But if you're in between the 6.2 and the 3 liter Duramax, uh, there's a couple things that uh, are gonna differentiate the motors. And they both have the same amount of torque, which is 460 pound feet. However, the 6.2 has 420 horsepower, whereas this has 277 horsepower. Uh, but when you start getting into like fuel economy and stuff like that, that's really where the 6.2 falls behind. And that's where the 3 liter Duramax really shines, like I said. 22 miles per gallon city 26 miles per gallon highway which in my opinion for a truck like this that has the pickup that this thing has like definitely not the fastest thing in the world but very very quick uh when you get off the line like that torque shove really pushes you uh into the seat like i really do uh like the power delivery that uh, both the Duramax and the 10-speed uh, transmission give you. It's just a really nice feeling. In daily driving situations, I think the 3-liter Duramax is actually a really, really good uh, option um, for a daily driver. Reason being, like I said, fuel economy is really, really good. And just when you're not ripping on it and you're just going like how you would normally drive, um, it really feels like you're driving something like a 6.2. Like, uh, and like actually this has a greater feeling of torque at the lower end than the 6.2 does and obviously uh, the power delivery is totally different between a gas motor and a diesel motor but uh, you can just really feel like you got a really good amount of power coming from like a stoplight or coming from a stop sign uh, just like and it really doesn't rev much past like 2500 3 grand RPM like uh, I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna do the little Yui little u-turn right here and uh we'll feel that power and uh really feel that you don't really need much more uh but like i said just like regular accelerations like it just really really gets up and goes and it's really yeah basically keeping it in between like 1750 rpm and 2500 rpm i think that's really the range where this motor really shines and that's really where you feel the majority of the power um and going over like this is a really uneven bridge very very smooth very very smooth especially for an off-road oriented truck very smooth in daily driving situations handles very very good it maintains a very flat composure around turns so you don't have like body roll galore um, very very smooth it keeps it very very well planted very flat um, but yeah like I'm definitely a big fan of the way that this thing drives uh, this thing also when I was driving it back there on a two lane road, it's got these really, really big mirrors. And obviously you do have blind spot monitoring, but these mirrors are so big that you almost don't need the blind spot monitoring. Um, but definitely blind spot monitoring is always a nice thing to have uh, because there's always that one time where you look and it doesn't look like there's anybody there, but then you start turning into the lane and somebody's there. Uh, that's definitely a, a nice feature of the blind spot is that you don't get that in it. It'll alert you. Uh, at the top left hand corner in the top right hand corner of both of the mirrors on the outside um, Yeah, so definitely a big fan and they're de it's a nice bright yellow light So yeah, definitely uh, get the blind spot monitoring another thing that I wanted to mention is uh, on the heads-up display Like I mentioned, this is a 15 inch heads-up display system and uh, it's very very uh, bright I can see it with these uh, polarized sunglasses on and there are a lot of heads-up displays where these sunglasses you can't really see the heads-up display until you take them off and then you can really start seeing the heads-up display but I can see the heads-up display just fine uh, it's definitely a little bit dim especially when the sunlight's shining on uh, to the projection screen uh, but you can definitely you can still see it and I really like the screen that shows me that I'm perfectly in between the lane that it's basically like a green line on this side and a green line on that side 
telling me that I'm good and nice and situated in between the lane. But once you start like drifting out of the lane or uh, you have your blind spot warning uh, alerting you of things, you get a vibration on the seat that basically tells you, hey dude, you gotta pay attention. You're either drifting out of the lane or you're about to hit another car or you're coming up on a car too fast. And what's nice about the packages that this truck does have is that it does have uh, auto brake. So if you're about to hit another car, it's gonna stop you, which is a really nice safety feature. But you know, the more, majority of the time you're paying attention, but there's always that one time, you know, uh, where you don't pay attention and you could totally just slam into the back of somebody else's car. Um, but this car will save you from doing that. Uh, if you're an idiot, but you know, like I mentioned really really nice shifting out of that 10-speed transmission It's not clunky at all And I actually think that the 10-speed works a little bit better with this Duramax motor than it does with the 6.2 gas motor um, That's just something that I've personally observed. Maybe some other people have uh, Differing opinions, but I mean that's just something that I noticed uh, Off the bat nice little sunroof right here uh, but you can close it just like that and another thing I think I did mention uh, is that this does have automatic high beams Which is really really nice at night if you guys have ever used uh, auto high beams on any vehicle It's really really nice. You don't have to worry about um, Turning on your high beams on and off all the time and you know I mean yeah ultimate first world problem of turning your high beams on and off But it's just a really nice thing that you don't have to worry about and you can focus more uh, on driving at night and I haven't driven this particular truck at night, but I've heard that this thing has really, really nice uh, LED lights at night. It just really brightens up the road, and they're that white light rather than like a halogen light where it's kind of like whitish yellow. Um, yeah, so definitely very bright headlights. But to adjust the uh, automatic high beams, there's a little button on this stalk right here uh, on your turn signal stalk that you can just push, and uh, it'll turn your auto high beams on or off. Uh, so very nice feature to have. Uh, but you know, I just like I mentioned really nice heads-up display, but I really like the analog gauges right here as well And you also have a um, Digital speedometer readout like I said on that nice 8-inch diagonal screen uh, Right there just very very nice truck rides very very smooth There's a big bump back there just absorbs those bumps very we're coming up on a big bump right here And it just absorbs the bumps very very well. You can tell that the bumps are a nice like big bump and it just really absorbs the bumps very, very nicely. Uh, and like I said, especially for a truck that's geared towards off-road. Um, one thing I, I wanted to mention about the tires is that these are pretty beefy tires. And um, driving them down the road, they're not loud, but you do hear them just a little bit, but they're not like annoying. You know what I mean? Uh, definitely not too loud of an off-road tire. And you know, uh, the insulation that's in this truck is just very, very good. And that Duramax motor, it doesn't, you can't even really hear it uh, unless you like really step on it. Then you can hear a little bit of the turbo. And it sounds, honestly, it sounds like one of the big V8 Duramax motors, but just nice and small. It's, it, it sounds, obviously, it sounds different than a V8 Duramax, but it, you can hear that it's got that similar sound to it. Um, but, you know, I really, I do like the sound of the Duramax. I think it sounds very, very good. Uh, but just a big fan of this vehicle overall as a whole. I really really liked it. It's very very comfortable more than adequate power uh, It's got really really good looks to it. It's got LED headlamps LED fog lamps LED tail lamps uh, It's just a very very well updated truck the fit and finish of the truck is very very nice as well uh, Just very very comfortable riding truck. You got all the technology features that you really want I really am a fan of the camera mirror so if you're hesitant about the camera mirror, take it from me. I think you'll really enjoy it. I was a little uh, hesitant about it at the beginning, but then I got used to it and I'm actually uh, a big fan of the way that it looks. I'm uh, pulling in right here and there's like windows where it's reflective and the truck just looks so good pulling in. I really like the little shark fin that you have uh, for your radio right up here. I think that just looks very, very good. And it makes it look just a little bit sporty uh, in addition to the off-roadiness look of it. Uh, so definitely a huge fan of it. And one thing that I did want to add into the video is that the way that this truck sits right here, the MSRP is $66,740, which I totally think is worth it. Very, very comfortable truck. It comes with pretty much all the features that you could ever want. Uh, so yeah, I definitely think that the price tag is worth it. I think that you'll be very very happy with the money spent You got a great powertrain great interior very comfortable interior and you got like I mentioned all the features that you want But 
If you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. I'm really gunning for a thousand subscribers and I can only do it with your guys' help. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys learned something, please give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what your favorite feature of this truck was. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace. Ooh.